Hi everyone, welcome to Movie World. I'm Robert Waldman. First of all, on a beautiful day on the West Coast, I want to say I hope everybody is doing well, healthy, happy. That's what it's all about. And having a good time, which is exactly what this movie from 1956 promises. The movie, a romantic classic, High Society. Incidentally, 1956 was the year when I was born, along with my wife, Anna my beautiful director slash cinematographer, camera operator. She does it all. And this movie from 1956, High Society, does it all. It's a wonderful story that's directed by Charlie Walters. The movie is set in Ro Providence, Rhode Island. Now that's among the rich people. That's among the jet set. And it stars three of the best actors of all time. First of all, we have a cat named Dex. Now, Dex is played by none other than Bing Crosby. Bing, by the way, wrote, I didn't say he wrote, but he sang perhaps the most recorded beloved song of all time, namely White Christmas. Well, in high society, he doesn't sing White Christmas, but he sings a number of other songs, including True Romance, True Love, I should say. True Love, True Love. He sings that song to his ex-lady friend, his ex-wife called Tracy Lord. Please, don't confuse Tracy Lord to Tracy Lords, who began her career, I guess, as a softcore porn star, then branching into mainstream. You certainly can't say that about the actress that plays Tracy Lord in the movie. She's played by Grace Kelly. Imagine that. Grace Kelly, Hollywood royalty, a beautiful, dazzling comedian actress who would end up marrying a rather rich, noble guy. Would you believe Prince Rainier of Monaco? That's right, Grace Kelly went from Hollywood to royalty in the real true sense of the word. Now you see, the whole focus of tr this movie, High Society, is that Tracy is about to get married to a new guy who's sort of kind of aloof, kind of standoffish, not like her ex Dex, played deliciously well, delightfully well by Bing Crosby who uses all his suave, debonair, croonish style to try to perhaps woo her back. Will he win her heart again, or will he not? Well, you're gonna have to watch High Society. Now, to further ramp up the comedy element in this movie, the film also involves a couple of people who are reporters for a very, how do I say, clandestine magazine called Spy Magazine. That's a tabloid. So two of their operatives are allowed to go and watch the wedding unfold. Those operatives is a fellow named Mike Connor and a woman, the photographer, named Liz Isbeth. Now Liz is played by none other than Celeste Holm. However, Mike Connor is played by none other than old Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. So these guys are out for a story. They want to poke fun at all those rich jet set snobs who populate that area. Ah, so they have a lot of fun getting prepared for the wedding. And Tracy Lord has a lot of fun at their expense. So this is a wonderful romantic musical. It also features one of the greatest musicians of all time, Louis Armstrong, who sings up a storm with his band. Because you see Dax, played by, again, Bing Crosby, he's a jazz buff, he's a music buff, and he's also arranging during that weekend a music festival of sorts. So that's why Louis Armstrong and his cohorts are singing at Dex's estate. Old Satchmo himself has never been better. Now I have to tell you, this is really a warm-hearted movie. It's got two of the best singers of all time. How can you go wrong with Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra? The answer, you can't go wrong. From a romantic movie, from a musical movie, this film from Paramount Pictures, I believe, is a lot of fun and it's still it's, you know, it, it marks it, you know, it, it's still timeless. It's so good. And seeing Grace Kelly at the height of her career, so beautiful, so engaging, you can see why she ended up being uh, married and falling for the Prince of Monaco. Who wouldn't? On a scale of one to ten, I got to give high society, I got to give it an honorable seven. Thanks for watching Movie World. Robert Waldman, hope to see you soon.